If you are part of a team that works cross-functionally and processes requests from other teams, you can streamline these asks via a Google form, a sheet, and an app script. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame tabular beasts into productive applications. In this episode, I will cover my peer Stephen Basil's sheet solution that helps IT teams receive and process equipment requests for new hires, for example. First step is to make a copy of the sheet with the app script, which is linked in this video's description and lives on the G Suite solution gallery. What I love about this script is that it automatically creates a form with all the fields desired, such as equipment list, location, new hires email, etc. This is thanks to the use of the forms service. To kick off its creation, there is a custom menu called Equipment Request, and you select Setup. You are prompted for permissions to run the script, and another menu appears at the top of the sheet. This one is called Form. Select it and choose Go to Live Form and fill out the form. This is the same form you can share with other teams via website, email, or in a chat conversation. Before submitting a response, make sure to update the email address the request will be sent to, add your team's Google Group email address to receive the request, or for initial testing, just enter your email within the top of the script. Using the on form submit installable trigger in the script, it takes care of sending an email to that address every time a new response is entered into the form. Note that a user has complete control over the email's content because of the use of mail app in the script, such as this one. From a workflow standpoint, upon helping the new user with their request, you then change the status column in the spreadsheet to completed. The script includes a time-based trigger that runs every five minutes that transfers the finished task into a second sheet called completed tasks. It is able to modify the sheet thanks to the pre-built actions in the spreadsheet service. Optionally, the equipment request menu in the sheet has an option below setup called cleanup, which helps delete responses from the form and set it to no longer accept new responses. Hopefully this equipment request example gave you a better idea of how to streamline requests from teams for any other types of processes using these tools. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. Cheers.